Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very well. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good. My name is Edwin Cubillas, and I am going to be the instructor in this course. Okay. So I will put here. Okay. Okay. Now, it's important that, we're, that today, the first day, we are going to discuss and talk about the platform and the different things to make sure everything is okay, okay? okay. Now, is, is this the first time for you in the platform or did you study before? I used before the platform. Okay, good, okay. And for the others, is the first I'm time? I'm going to study before. Okay. And before. I used before. Okay. Me too. Okay, great. So then it's easy. Then I think only everybody understands how to use the platform, how to check the grades. Only I do quick. Re only I do a quick review then. Okay. Only a moment. Okay. Uh, first, you should have access to the platform. The platform is going to say Inglés Intermedio, Module 3, okay? This is the, the level where you are, and you're going to see all of the different sections, okay? In our course, we have five sections, okay? We are four weeks, but five sections. This means that we do more than one section per week, okay? So, one is a little bit more each week than one section. Here, where you see the progress is where you identify your grades. If you want to see how are your grades, your activities, what you are missing, this is where you go, okay? For example, my name is Evan Cubillas, and for me, okay, I will see this. I will see a, I don't have any work, nothing completed. Okay, but then here is the work for the midterm, the final, and the total. If I want to see each section or each lesson, I can check and I can see the grades for each section. I can see this in section one, there are three that are grades, but in section three, ah, there are four that have grades. Okay, so when you want to see, that's where you check. The minimum grade to pass is 80, okay? If you have 80 or more, then you've received a certificate. If you do not have 80, then you need to do the exercises again in order to raise your grade to get an 80. In this moment, are there any questions? No. No question. Oh, teacher, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what is going to be our lessons, our, the objectives? Every time we begin a class or begin part of a, a lesson, it tells us lesson objective. It tells us in English and it tells us in Spanish. For example, in this class, we're going to learn the passive voice using by. Okay, we're going to learn the passive voice using by. Now, do you know what is uh, the passive voice? No, I, I'm going to help you. I, maybe you know, but only the name you don't know. It's okay, sometimes it's the technical names that are difficult to remember. Okay, so uh, I will give you an example, okay? Here, I'm going to give you the example of an active voice and a passive voice. Wow, Vanessa, you changed face. I thought it was somebody else. Okay, all right. I kicked a chair, okay? And then we have
Okay. Here we have active and passive. Okay. This is the name that we give them. We have an active voice, which is the first sentence. And the second sentence is called a passive voice. Okay. Why is the difference? The active voice is when the person does the action. Okay. Arturo does the action. David does the action. Vanessa does the action. Okay. This is the active voice. But when uh, Camila receives, Vanessa receives, Blanca receives, this is the passive voice. So what is the big difference? Active always it does the action, always does the activity. Okay. I cook pizza. I make pupusas. Okay. I go to work. This is I. Or, uh, or maybe Lydia. Lydia, she studies English. Um, Carlos uh, fixes the car. But always the person does the action. In the passive voice, the person doesn't do the action. The person receives the activity. Okay. So imagine, um, the, let's think of um, the, my arm. Okay. I don't, I don't break my arm. Ah, my arm was broken. Okay. This is the passive. In the passive, we always use the verb to be. Okay. This is important. We always use the verb to be and then the verb in the past participle. Hi, welcome to another. Is okay the idea in this moment? Yes. yes, it's okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, okay, I'm going to give you some more examples so that it's clear. Okay, these examples are from the platform. This is the platform 1.1. Okay, if you are on the computer, you can check, or on your cell phone, you can check. But today, in I'm going to share with you the screen so that you can see the platform 1.1. Okay. As you can see, the passive with by, here we have, okay. The simple past, okay. Here we have the instructions. The passive, oops, I don't know what happened. There we go. Let me put it one more time. Okay. Maybe I moved it. So now the module. Okay, there are examples. So we have, you can see we have two there. The active, the president opened the building in 1931 because the president does this action. In the second sentence, an American architect designed the building because an architect does this action, designed. But in the passive, we normally focus on the object. Here, it or the building was opened by the president is always the verb to be and you can see the verb to be is was because it's in the past in the second one the same okay the building or it was designed by an american architect this is also the passive now both of them help us to give sentences the different ideas okay so i say ah andrea cooked the pizza but maybe I don't like Andrea. Maybe I don't want to talk about Andrea. Ah, okay. Then I only focus on the action, the pizza. What happened with the pizza? Ah, the pizza was cooked. If I want to include the information, the person, then this is where we use the by. That is when we talk about, when we say by, that is what we refer to, is who did the action, okay? It's okay for now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So we have many different ones there. Let's take a look a little bit further. Okay. A 
Let me go back a little bit. We're going to unscramble them. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scramble sentence for you. Okay. There you can see we have a sentence that says, my sister, this book in 2010 wrote. Okay. We want to make this into a sentence. This sentence here is only the words. It's not a complete sentence. My sister, this book in 2010 wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you... First, exactly what it says is unscramble. Let's put this in order. What is the correct order for this sentence? My sister wrote this book in 2010. Okay. Let's see. That's good. Okay. My sister wrote this book in 2010. Excellent. That's the correct one. I don't know why the clock is not working there, but we advance. Okay. Now, is this sentence active or passive? Look at that sentence. Is that active or passive? Passive. Active. Okay. That sentence was active. Why active? Because it's necessary a person does the action. It's necessary your sister does the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at this sentence. Put this one in the correct order. What is the correct order for this one? This book was written by my sister in 2010. Okay. Very good. Can you say the sentence one more time? Okay. Uh, this book was written by my sister in 2010. Okay, very good. That's correct. We can verify or we can check in this moment. Okay. Now notice the difference between this sentence and the previous. This one is passive. Because why is passive? Because we begin with the object. We begin with the things that we're talking about. This is this book, okay? So when, when we talk about something or, or someone, okay, it can have two. It can be an active or it can be a passive. The difference, if we talk about what the person does, I say, David reads books. Camila watches television, okay? Arturo drives a car. Olga plays baseball. Ah, my sentences are active. But because the focus, okay, the focus is the person. But when I want to change the focus, like a reporter or like the police, uh, I focus not on the person. I focus on the thing. Ah, what happened, Rom Romulo? What happened? Ah, my car. My car was crashed. It's not important who. I don't care. It's not relevant. Maybe it was Vanessa. Maybe it was Camila. Maybe it was Carlos. But the important, the focus is the car is crashed. This is passive. Right? For example, in my, in my office, it's not important who cleans the office. This is, for the customer, this is irrelevant. The important only is the office was cleaned. This is the focus. So we have two different ways. One, when we focus in the person. And two, when we focus on the object. What is the difference? The difference is the same information only is for manipulating the information. Okay, so imagine Arturo, okay, Arturo went to Simon, okay, and Arturo bought five shirts. Okay, Arturo bought five shirts. Oh, wow. 
okay, I focus on Arturo. Arturo has money, but maybe not the focus is for Arturo. Maybe I am the manager. Uh-huh. Tell me, Camila, what happened today? Ah, today, five shirts were sold. Ah, I, it's the same information, but I manipulate the information different. One, I focus the customer. Two, I focus in me. Yeah, I focus in my sales. I focus in uh, my, the different activities. This is how we use active and passive. Mm, so, so? Omar? Okay, okay. I thought you were going to ask Very a question. Clear. No, no, no. I thought you were going to ask a question, Omar. No, no questions. No question. It's very clear. Okay. I'm going to put in the chat one sentence in active. Everyone, everyone write the sentence in passive. Okay. I'm going to put the sentence in active. Okay. And everyone put the sentence in passive. Don't worry if it's wrong. The important is that you participate, that you try, that you make the mistake and correct. I see Lydia's answer, Camila's answer, Vanessa, Omar's. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are correct. The TV was watched by me. Excellent. Now that we are all clear, and everybody understands we're going to practice orally. Now, how does that work? Vanessa is going to tell me something she does as an example. Okay, imagine my partner is Vanessa. And I, Vanessa and I are going to give you the example. Hi, Vanessa, tell me about your activities. What do you do? Mm -hmm. I like to drink coffee. Okay, now I change the sentence to passive. Ah, coffee? is mm, you have to remember the past tense of the verbs because it's not correct coffee is drink ah what is the past of drink drunk 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 with a or with you with you with a oh i hear different answers mm. what happened with a or with you With you? With you. Okay, okay, all right. The correct is with A. With A. This is the past tense. With you is the past participle. Okay, so coffee is, with, with A we have is drank, and sorry, and with you is the past participle. With, so is drunk. Drunk has two meanings, right? Is the verb, for example, the water or you drink, okay? In the past is drank, for the passives is drunk. Or the other is for somebody that has a lot of alcohol, then the, too much alcohol, then the person is drunk, okay? So, okay, I see everybody tried very good. 
what are we going to use? Are we going to use the past tense or are we going to use the past participle? If it's the past tense, it's with A. If it's the past participle, it's with you. Which one is the correct one? Romulo? Past, part past, part past participle. Correct. Is correct. This is the correct one. So the correct answer is coffee was, was drunk with you. Was with drunk. You. If I want to put the information, mm -hmm. I put was drunk by Vanessa. Uh -huh. If I if I don't want to give the information who only the coffee was drunk. Uh -huh. This is normally the example with the children. If you have children or brothers or sisters that are young, or like with your parents, ah, the, the chair broke, the chair broke. Mm -hmm. the, the, huh? the, the, the coffee, the glass disappeared. The gla I don't know, I don't know. The cookie, I don't know. The cookie, the co I don't know what happened with the cookie. This is normally when you use it because you don't want to focus in you. You want to focus in the object. I don't know what happened, only it happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make small groups and we're going to practice making sentences. Vanessa make a sentence in active, I put in passive. Then I put a sentence in active and Vanessa put in passive, okay? Vanessa says, I like to drink coffee, okay? It's not necessary to put like for the passive, only I put, ah, coffee was drunk by Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Because when it's the, op the opinion is not necessary to put into the passive. It's not uh, coffee, uh, light to drink. No, no, no. It's only the information. One more example or it's okay? It's okay. David, it's okay. Anybody else? I have a question. Yes, man. Yes, Vanessa. And in the passive ex in the passive voice, the verb always is in past. Is always in past participle. Past participle. Okay. Maybe sometimes it's a little confusion because remember, regular verb is the same past and past participle. So for regular verbs is the same. The the big difference is for irregular verbs. Okay. okay. So for example, I ate pupusas. Ah, eight is irregular. So we have to begin focus with the object. Vanessa, what is the object in this sentence? I ate pupusas. Pupusas? Correct, pupusas. And then we have to look at the verb. Ah, the verb is eight, but it's, n it's not the past. Eden. Correct, Fabiola, is eaten. But I need to put the verb to be. In English, the verb to be indicates the time. The verb to be indicates if it's in present, in past, or in future. Is not the past participle. The past participle is the grammar structure. Okay? So I can say, like for Arturo, okay? Uh, pupusas are going to be eaten, the future, by Arturo. But the past participle is the same, always is the same. Only I change the auxiliary because the auxiliary indicate the time. Okay, any other questions? Are we ready to practice? We're ready. Okay, all right. We're going to make groups. In order to make the groups, it's necessary that you accept. I'm going to send you an invitation and this is for you to have smaller groups to be able to practice with your partners. Okay, you're going to receive a message and only accept and then you're going to go to the groups. Remember, you make one sentence inactive, your partner change your sentence. Then your partner make one and then you change and then we practice. The idea is to practice five and five. Five active and five passive.
Blanca Orlando is okay? Did you receive the invitation? No, no teacher. Mm. I don't receive. Let's take a look, Blanca. Mm -hmm. Let's try again. Okay, yes, I have you with Fabiola. But let me move. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Did you receive the invitation now? Hello, Cesar. Hello, hello, my friend. Hmm. I, I have problem with the webcam, but I try to to connect in in a moment. No, no problem, no problem, Cesar. I'm going okay. to I'm going to put you in the group so that you can practice. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, good. Only you accept the invitation and you go to the group. Hey, Cesar, don't accept. There's, hi, Romelo. <laughs> Ahorita se fue tu compañero. Ah, ahí. Okay. <laughs> Él era. <laughs> Sorry. No problem, no problem. Have problem with the technology. The internet was slow for Cesar. Can, can you send me the... Yes, yes, yes. I send you again. I send okay. you again. I send you again. One moment. Okay. Let me see. I think... Okay. No appear. Not appear. No. Okay. All right. Let me try. There's Cesar. Okay. Don't go. Don't go. You and Cesar work here. You and Cesar okay. work here. That way, okay. that way, nothing, Marin. Not, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice to meet you, Romulo. Hey, nice to meet you again, Cesar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I try to improve my skill in listening and speaking. I play basketball. Uh, I cut the onion. Hmm? I cut the onion. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I cut the onion. The 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 pass passive can will be uh, the the onion was cut by me. Yes. Uh, okay. Other sentence? I I played the basketball. Um, it's necessary the um, the object uh, uh, for example the onion is yeah, yeah there in, in ask uh, and the teacher for the first sentence if it's is is correct maybe what was the first sentence uh yeah there says uh my brother swan in the pool okay how we can change the sentence is not possible because that the, the yeah. pool the my brother swam in the pool is not possible. Yeah. Uh huh. For the thing, but swan in the in the is, ocean sea. No. Yes, yes. Techn technically, yes, because grammatically, always is possible. For example, the pool was swam in. This I, I'm going to put into the chat so that you can see. Okay. So. Okay. Because the object is the pool. Yeah. The verb to be in the past was, and then the action, swam. Okay. Now, grammatically, it's correct, but logically, not so much, because it's not common to, it's, it's not in this way that you would say it. 
Mm -hmm. the, the sentence is equal for the... I play... I play basket. Ah, okay. Similar. Similar the idea. Exactly. Yeah. So it's correct. You can say this, this type of sentence is normally if you work or you are in a, in, in a place where it's important. For example, who used the balls or if the pool is dirty or something happened. Ah, then you use this form. Okay. So for example, uh, the, in the COVID, in this time, in the quarantine, during the quarantine, the pool was not swimming. It's logical because you indicate that in the time of the quarantine, no one swims in the pool. But for speaking, normally you begin with the person, the person or nobody or someone, and then the action, swam in the pool. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the important is that yes, is possible, but not always is is a good idea to make the change for grammatical. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only ha only have uh, uh, one sentence. We need five sentences. Exactly. Action. <laughs> <laughs> you have an action. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Any questions? Yeah, sorry, but I lost in the class. Uh, I've been late uh, with in the loading. Ah, in the group. okay, okay. And oh. Bessie are sharing the video with me. Ah, excellent, excellent. This is the video that is in the platform. Is the same? Is the same video in the platform? Yeah. But maybe Bessie can help you with the explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, she's sharing the information with me because I noticed in the platform uh, there is no book, workbook. No, no workbook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only the exercises. Okay. The exercises are the stop and check. These are the exercises. Ah. When you see a stop and check is because here is the exercises for the grade. Ah, okay. Okay. And the exercise in this group have have to be, we have to make um, one for passive and another for active. Okay. In this moment, the activity is you make five active and then Bessie change to passive. Then Bessie make five active and you change to passive. Okay. Passive and active. Correct. Passive and active. I think I lost a Bessie. I think we, there's Bessie, yeah. there's Bessie. Yes, the internet of Bessie is failing. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it's a little problem. But Bessie yes, is here. Yes, but I'm here. Okay, yeah. all right, good. Okay. We just was, uh, I don't know if Eugenia told you that we, we, we have to see the video to understand more what are we going to do with yeah, I explained the teacher. Yes. He told me we have to do, you choose the passive and I choose the active and interchange. Correct. Let's do an example to make sure it's clear. Okay. Okay. All right. I will do a simple one. Okay, Eugenia, for example, the active. Okay. I cook pizza. And now I you change it. And you change the sentence to passive. I was cooking. No, I, no. We, we begin with the object. What is the object of this? Ah, sentence? the pizza. The exactly. pizza was cooked. Exactly. That's it. Only that. Okay. That is the difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. because I I feel a loss in this. Mm -hmm. I in this chapter. Okay. And, or in this task, I think. It's so let's give another example. One more example. Uh, Bessie speaks English. Uh, the object? Uh, speaks. No, English. Correct. English. Mm -hmm. uh, English was speaked by Bessie? 
good. Only the verb is was spoken. Was spoken. spoken. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Correct. That is correct. You see? Oh, thanks. This is what you're going to do. Teacher, because I, I have a question. Um, you can share some links for the, we can practice the verbs because I have a problem with that. I can, let me check because this module, the uh, Inglés Corporativo have a problem with YouTube for sharing links. They put in, oh, okay. uh, they, they make, uh, YouTube make a report. But let me check if I can put, if not, if, if, if not, I can maybe in the WhatsApp. Okay. Okay? Because you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Bessie. If, if you have an action, um, passive or inactive. Mm, okay. Um, I was, I, I was, um, I am preparing pre pre your sentence because I, okay. I think that how is it the correct uh, structure? Because it's a long sentence for me. Um, I, I repeat yeah. more more slowly. Okay. Yeah, because I need to understand to identify the, the subject. In this case, it's your cat. Past the bird, uh, my cat changed. Uh, it is uh, it's the the the. The yeah, because the your beauty. sentence is the, the active voice, no? And I need to uh, I need to make yeah. the, the, the passive voice. Um you uh, know the passive voice the structure in, in, in this case is uh, the dog's neighborhood was chase my kitten, my kitty. By your kitten. By my kitten. Yeah. By your kitten. No. No. Omar, yeah, because what is was, the what is the original sentence? Our in original sentence is uh, teacher uh, my kitty is chased for the dog's neighborhood. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I and I think I, I, I think teacher the, the, the best option to to, to make the, 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 the best structure a structure because um, I I I was identifying the the subject to receive in this case to to do the to make the, the, the passive voice sentence. Yes, only um, only that in this case Omar already make the sentence in passive voice. Because yeah. the, yes, because my dog is chased. The verb is and chased already in the moment is the act is the passive voice because not the dog do the action. The dog received the action. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. But in this case who who the dog received yeah so for example for for the original action okay is the cat the cat chases the dog because we changed the order yeah. ah then the now in the passive is the dog was chased by the by cat the or by the 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 cat's neighbor or the neighbor's cat i think as omar said mm -hmm. the the dogs uh, was uh, was chased. Neighborhood. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. This is the difference. So when the you begin with the object, when you begin with the object, this gives you the idea of a passive voice. When you begin with a person, is normally the active voice. Okay. Yeah. So, but in this case, we have uh, two actors. In this case. Uh, about animals. Correct. About yeah, animals. That's, Only the that's, this, that's why the confusion because you think ah yeah. one one do and one receive. No. But if you receive yeah. if you receive is passive. If you do is active. Yeah, but it depends the position that you are 
make the sentence. Correct. The, Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in this case, how can I know what is the, the passive or active voice in this case? Because you because you 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 always have a, an actor in both. Correct. Yeah. And very good question, Carlos. The easy way to identify is the verb to be. Because in okay. the active voice, no verb to be. In the active voice, only the action. The cat chases the dog. Omar cooks dinner. Uh, uh, maybe Omar cooks dinner for me. Okay. okay. I, the two people. Ah, but I need to focus in the passive. Okay. Ah, the dinner was cooked. Yeah, and you are the verb to be. To exactly. You, the to verb to be indicate a passive. This is going to help you. So the, the verb to be with a past participle always is the passive. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, good, good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The clothes was washed. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. No, no, no matter who do the, the, the action, but the, the important is the, the, the clothes. I was washes. <laughs> okay. For example, uh, uh, I returned the, the classmate. <laughs> It was a long discussion. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, sister. Hey, thank you, you, Romulo. Okay. Very good. I know that some groups have a little bit more difficulty than other groups. So, as a review, okay, the review is that always when we do active or passive, the trick is the verb to be. If the sentence has the verb to be, it's going to be passive. If the sentence no verb to be, it's going to be active. Okay. So as an example, I can say um, Camila. Okay. Camila watches TV. No verb to be. I can put in the future. Okay. Or I can put in the past. Camila watched TV. No verb to be. Okay, always when you have the person and does the action, this is the active. But now I focus on the object. Ah, the TV, the chair, the food. Ah, was watched, was cooked, is prepared. Okay, all of these are for passive because receive the action. You can think of, for example, uh, like this water bottle. Okay. Okay, the action is I do, I break the bottle. Is not possible, is impossible. The water break by itself. Okay, so when you think of the activity, if it's impossible to do for the, for the object, ah, it's the passive. Normally it's for objects, but sometimes for people, okay? So, for example, maybe Cesar is violent. I see Cesar because Cesar has the last name is Russian, Vladimir. Mm, and the Russians, very violent. They like Rocky Balboa. Pa, pa, pa. They like to fight. Okay. And the pronunciation teacher is Vladimir. Oh, hijo. Okay. I'm sorry. I said. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. It's good. It's good, Cesar. Uh -huh. So, imagine there are two ways that Cesar and I fight. The first is I hit Cesar. This is active. I do the action. The other is Cesar hit me. I receive the action. This is the passive. Always in the activities, think about you do uh, active. You receive passive. So as an example, it's possible because I have one of the sentences that have two people or two animals. As an example, I was hit, but is no active. I don't look, oh, here's Cesar. I, Cesar, hit me, Cesar. No, 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 no. 
I don't do is I receive from Cesar. Okay? This is the idea. So always when you receive is going to be the passive voice. In this moment, we are going to practice some exercises. You is the exercises from the platform. If you are on the platform, you can complete the activity and have the grade. If you are not on the platform, you can do with the class and then after you when the class finished you only pass the uh, the answers to make sure you receive the correct grade okay i'm going to share my screen with you let me know if you see it do you see the screen yes yes teacher okay perfect this is for the 1.2 okay the knowledge check what are we going to check we're going to check the passive with buy because this was the objective, passive with buy, and now we check. So here we have many sentences. We have five sentences, okay? And we have five answers, only we have to match, okay? I'm going to put this one, wait, maybe, yes, this one is maybe the best one so that you can see. I think you can have all the options like this. So, okay. Take a moment and look which sentences or which answers do you know? Okay, here you decide, is this for number one? Is this number two? Or is this number one? And this is number two and this is five. So look at the sentence and complete. The important is the information, the type to help you. The tip, teacher, I think is when say was written is a novel, was oh. recorded is a song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was, pa was painted is a, a, a maybe a number a one. Well, and, it, uh, in this case, is was composed by George Dyson. Ah, uh, yes. Which I agree. Which one? Which which number? The number Five. one. Number one. Oh, number one. Ah, okay. Number, number one, one is paint, ah, painted, painted by. Painted. So, okay. painted. Number one is painted. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what is number two? Is it's the number the, the last one by the recorder. You know the term. Record by was Beatles. recorder by the Beatles. Okay. All right. And number three. Is was directed by, by, by Spielberg. Okay, by Steven Spielberg. And the novel? Was written, written by, by Jane Austen. Austen. Written by, by Jane Austen. Austen. Okay, good. In this one, I heard a little mispronunciation. The pronunciation right. is written. 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 Yes. written. written. Good, good. Written. And then this means that the last one is? Okay, very good. And if we check, then the same that you should have in your platform, you should have for today's activities, 33 of 33, right? The same idea. If you want to check, you go, you click in progress, and then in progress, you're going to see, ah, okay. Ah, the first activity, Homework zero one, homework one is, you can see, you have 33 points, but you need two more activities, okay, for this lesson. So always there, we can check. And how do we, how does this help? Because here we begin to see the average and here, ah, uh, this is two points. I need minimum 80 points to pass, but that exercise was two points. And little by little, we continue. It's okay, the passive? Yes, sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Now we have our next one. Okay. Here we're looking at different ways the letter O is pronounced. Okay. Now, in reality, for this one, the best way is to 
listen and watch this pronunciation, okay? I don't think you can hear when I play the video. So give me one moment and I'm going to disconnect the, this one and I'm going to to make sure that you can hear. Okay. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen. Okay, can you hear the video or no? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. I put again from the beginning so that you can hear the different pronunciations of O. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember to play the audio program as many times as you need to. It is important for you to notice the difference on pronunciation. We want you to practice a little bit more, so pronounce the following words. Okay. Here we can see that we have many different words and that the letter always pronounced differently. Okay. Let's try. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. I'm going to pronounce first the words so that you can see and hear the different O pronunciation. All right? We have lock. La. It's like an A sound. Lock. Then we have done. Done. And here, it's a different pronunciation for the O. Then the next one is like a U. Soon soon the next one is there is an o wrote wrote next we have come come own own hot hot is not with an o is no hot is with an a hot hot and the last one who who it's okay the pronunciation or would you like me to repeat? Okay. repeat? Please repeat? Okay, no problem. One more time. Lock. Lock. Okay. Done. Done. Soon. Soon. Wrote. Wrote. Come. Come. Own, own, hot, hot, who, who. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, of course. Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. As you can see here, maybe it's a little bit better to understand the different sounds. The first sound, the O, is lock and hot is the same sound, ah, 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 okay? But then the next word is the same sound, is the O-U sound, is own, o. The same for the other word, ro, o, oat, wrote, okay? In the next two words, we have the U sound, soon. Even though it has two O's, it's pronounced like a U, soon. Who. And then the last one is the sound is ah, come, come, and done, done. Okay. If you have time or if you have a little bit more, you can watch the video 1.4, okay, in the platform. In the platform, it's easier to watch the video and you can pronunciate and practice more times. Okay. So tomorrow, 
we are going to be looking at this, okay? We'll be able to listen and practice a conversation between people asking for and giving information. We will also identify the passive with by in context. Now, for reviewing, for re wrapping up the class, what is the passive? What is the difference between active and passive? The emphasis uh, of the action of or or the who or the people. Okay, thank who you. Received the action. Correct. Who received the emphasis is the difference, and who receives is the specific difference, right? Now, in the active, do I do the action or do I receive the action? Do the action. Correct, man. I do the action. Do so. The action. In the passive, you receive the action. Okay. Remember that in the passive, always, always the verb is in past participle. The verb to be changes. The verb to be, but not the verb. The, the main verb is past participle. Is that okay? It's okay. 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 All right. Let's okay. let's try two examples and then we go and then we finish for the night. Two examples. Okay. Cesar, please give one sentence in active. Olga is going to put the sentence in passive. Okay. Is uh, I wash the dishes today. Okay. Okay, good, Cesar. Only pronunciation, I watched with a I watched, with I a watched, T. okay, mm -hmm. I watched the dishes uh, tonight. Okay, perfect. Olga, please change the sentence to passive. Sorry, Olga, please. Uh, it, it's difficult to hear you. Try again. The card and the card was uh drop drop or oh, okay the dishes mm -hmm. who can help her fabi you go ahead please please help her. okay mm -hmm. i think is the dishes was wash wash it no wash okay wash Hey, David, please tell Fabi why were and no was. Because it's uh, plural, it's not singular. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. The dishes were washed. Were. Uh, by Cesar. Cesar. Correct. To, today. Correct. Tonight. Tonight. Uh huh. Tonight. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So you can see is always is necessary just a little practice just continue practice tomorrow we're going to continue practicing and we're going to try to identify the different forms and practice more pronunciation okay okay very good very good have a good night i see you tomorrow tomorrow we continue with this task yes yes tomorrow okay. we continue yes thanks you're welcome i think uh, ohenia you had a question no, uh, that was my question. Is ah. we continue with us tomorrow? Yes, yes, yes. This week is um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This week is okay. the four days. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.